Hi friends, welcome back to my channel you guys. Today we are having, I think like the biggest seafood boil. <laughs> Oh my god, like I don't think we've ever had a seafood boil this big before. We have like a bunch of things in front of us. We have king crab legs, a whole dungeness crab. We have clams, mussels, crawfish, sausage, potato, shrimp, and I think that's it. It's huge. We also have papino, and then we have some dipping sauce. Michelle also made some homemade alfredo sauce because she's been craving this with some crab. We're gonna get started because we're just we're so hungry right now, you guys. You bon have no idea. But titties. Bon appetitis, mom. Bon appetit. I'm gonna make my sauce first. Just a little bit of salt and lemon. We got the papinos. Also, a huge shout out to Kevin, who works at Kick and Crab. Kevin gave us um, sauce on the side. And we appreciate it so much because we have been craving it. I don't know what the best way to give it to you is. Do you want to oh. leave it on here? Yeah, no, I'll leave it here, Mom. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Here, I got it. Thank you. And then um, I have my Alfredo here, too. Okay, okay. And then I need a lemon, and then we're mm. good to go. Lemon. We don't have rice today, you guys, because we want to eat the seafood. So, no rice. And if you hear screaming, it's my husband. The Eagles are currently playing. <laughs> <laughs> the Eagles are playing the Jets right now. You need another one, Mom? No, I'm perfect. Thank okay. you. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. The Eagles and the Jets? Yeah, they're playing right now. I think it should be over in a little bit. Oh, you guys, the seafood boil looks huge. I also have my drinks here, too. I'm drinking a Poppy Jarrett Cherry Limeade. We love Poppy in this house. Okay, bon appetit, Mom. Bon appetit. Oh, you're gonna need your drink first? Yeah. I'm so hungry. I, can't even see. I know. But I'm gonna hate myself when this isn't poured. Yes, I have two drinks. I am that girl. Are we surprised? No, we're not surprised. These days I'd be I'd be carrying water around too, so I'm a three drink girl. She's that girl. I am that girl. Alrighty. Okay, mom. We're not doing sausage, rice, and cucumber today, you guys. No, I'm we're, doing a shrimpy. We're digging in to the cucumber and sauce. This is from Kicking Crab. I'll link everything down below if you guys uh, are curious what I order. I'm curious about people dipping in Alfredo. Mm. Okay, I'm going to do it. Mm. Cucumber and Alfredo? Yeah. Seafood. Wow, you nailed that. Good job, Mom. Thanks. That is bomb. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my gosh, you guys. Do you see how much seafood we have in front of us? Mmm. We have a bowl of extra clams too, <laughs> if we ever run out. Last time we ran out, so. Mussel and Alfredo. That's bomb, Mom. I get it now. Good job, Mom. That Thanks. is bomb. Thanks. Oh my God. Shrimp. I'm gonna have to do it like you too. Oh, we suck the head, people. Suck the head. Mmm. Gotta dip, 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 dip. Mmm. Mmm. I'm not okay. This is ridiculous. I'm not okay either. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Mm -hmm. Oh damn it, mom! We forgot scissors. 
Let me see if I can get it without. You believe in me? I believe in you, honey. Do you no need meat? scissors? I can go get scissors. There's like no meat in here. What the heck? Want me to get scissors, Mom? No, I think I got it for us. Dip it in the Alfredo and let me know, man. Is it good? I've never had Alfredo with king crab. Mom, mom. Do you get it now? Yeah. Okay, should we do more mukbangs then? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I get it. Okay, next time we'll just do crab. We just do crab and Alfredo. I freaking get it. Oh my God. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Mm -hmm. I can't get over their sauce. I'll talk to you in 30 minutes. <laughs> wow. Let me know if you need scissors, Mom. I'll go get it. I just need bread. <laughs> Do you feel oh that way? When your mom ate the bread and the sauce at one time? Oh, that was so bomb. Oh, friends. <laughs> oh, my, it's so good. It's really good. And you know what? It's not even because we're hungry. Why is it so good? Mmm. Wow. Well, I was right. Mm -hmm. Wow. Nothing else to say. Mm. Shut up. This is good. So good. I'm shaking. Wow. I'm 
Amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, something happened. Well, it was. Mmm. <laughs> ah, so good. A potato. Mmm, wow. Mmm, so good. Oh my gosh. Spicy. Very. Is this what we get all the time? Yeah. Hmm. I don't have the balls to go higher, Mom. Mmm. <laughs> Alfredo's bomb. We wondered what it would taste like forever. Because everyone does it with the king crab legs. Mm hmm. And now we know. I understand. Hello, big guy. Did you do the potato with the Alfredo? <clears throat> no. Is it good? Mm. I'm trying it now. Oh my god, I'm doing enough, doing enough. Mmm, <laughs> good. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. Take a piece. What the frick? Mm-hmm. What the heck? Okay, I'm glad I got all that food in my system. Now I can talk to you. <laughs> that is amazing. Mmm. I love the taste of the ocean. <laughs> She's not kidding. Mm. The cucumber and the sauce <clears throat> is like to die for. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Wow, mom. Wow. Wow is right. This whole mukbang is wow.
So how's life? Oh. Wow. Wow. I agree. You oh, guys. Spicy. Uh, thank you. Right? Yeah, it's good. I, I, I didn't think you would understand. Yeah. I'm dying. Yeah, it's spicier than normal. Ooh, excuse me. Excuse me. Poppy makes you burp. It's nice. <laughs> Dang! King crab, all I'm saying is that if the shelves are empty, that's every dollar. <laughs> you tell them, Mom. The clams are so small. I wish they were like the normal size. Mmm. Not like the giant ones, but like the normal yeah. size ones. I agree. These are like the ones you put in pasta. Yeah, these are the like baby clams. Mmm. Mmm. They're so yum. Yummers. I'm gonna dig into the crab. Go for it. Oh, there's more shrimp for you. Oh, hello. <gasps> Look, okay, it's missing two legs. King crab, what the heck? Wow, they even took it out from the middle so you won't know. <gasps> Yeah. I need a break now. So how was your birthday? It was really good. Mine too. Did you have fun? Yeah, I can't talk about it. Because the vlog goes up after the mukbang. Ah, oh, mm. Welcome to the almost second half of the video. We have to make a <laughs> statement. Oh. Travis Kelsey <laughs> and Taylor Swift have made it official. They are official. There were pictures in New York. If you guys don't care, then you're not me because I care. I love them together. I get so like giddy. <laughs> Do you really? Yeah, I love them together. Okay, then you definitely like really like her. Mm hmm. I love her. Because like I feel very indifferent. I'm like, okay. What I'm are we so doing? happy for her. I feel like she's like a friend that like finally found her. Wait, man. but like. Ah, why are you yelling at me, man? You scared me. <laughs> Sorry. But when you guys are like so happy for her, but I thought her last relationship was great. Like, why are you guys so happy for her? Because we didn't know shit about her last relationship. Oh. Yeah. So her last boyfriend that she was with, Joe, I think. Was that his name? Joe? Yeah. He didn't like the spotlight. I know that. I so heard their backstory of. So their whole relationship for like, I think six years or something was all private, like you knew nothing. Yeah. For a minute, I forgot she was even dating him. Yeah. But also she's just gone through some shitty guys and so I just feel really happy for her. Right. And it's Travis Kelsey, mom. That's what I love, that like everybody all has agreed that Travis Kelsey is the one and is the nice one. What if he breaks her heart? Mom, it's Travis Kelsey. What if she breaks his heart? What if one or the other breaks one heart? I just feel like, I feel like they have very similar personalities. I just know they have a lot of fun together. <laughs> I think like, it works well because they both have their careers. Yes, they're I so different. Yeah. Oh, um, well, that's true. And I just think they're like so like silly individually. So I can't imagine how fun they have when they're together. Like he's just so carefree and so is she, yeah. you know, and she, I feel like. I feel like she needs that. Yeah. The I, whole. I love it. I ship it. Oh, I'm, I'm all for it. You're all for it. Oh my god, you guys! When I was I was up late last night editing, 
And those pictures released around, I think, 1 o'clock California time. Jeez Louise. I, oh my gosh, you guys, you have no idea. I screamed. I was so happy to see those photos. And he just, like, is so cute with her. Oh my god. Okay, I feel fine. like it makes her feel small. Yes, I love that. She can finally wear heels because she couldn't wear heels with her previous relationships. And I just, I'm so happy for her. And they're just both so rich and beautiful. <laughs> It works. I'm all for it, people. I'm all for it. I love that they're hanging out so much, considering they're both very well, busy right now. Well, it's a bit. Well, her she's back on tour. This uh, the this is her uh, manager. If you guys didn't know, <laughs> well, she's back. Um, she has a concert on the 18th in so. Europe, though, right? No, not yet. Not yet. Oh, she's okay. still in the U.S. Oh, okay. Wait, yes, Europe, 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 Europe. Wait, no. Shit, is it Europe? No, it's the U.S. Florida? I think it's Miami. Oh, okay. I think. But anyways, I know it's October 18th. Um, and then and then I think she goes somewhere else. And then they have a two-month break for Christmas. Mmm. Yeah. So that she can celebrate with Travis? <gasps> oh, my God. If they post a Christmas photo, I'm going to die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys, I will not be okay. <laughs> ah, so cute. I love them. Oh, there makes She'll literally FaceTime me and be like, did you see? And I'm like, <laughs> I have no choice. It's everywhere. <laughs> I hope they get married. They're so cute. They're so cute. And I just feel like they have, like, very similar family morals and, like, you know, like, upbringing, too. <clears throat> like, he was born in Ohio. She was in Pennsylvania. Like, I feel like growing up, they were similar. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get it. Like, very, like, small town kind of vibe. Yeah. And he's, like, so family-oriented. She's obviously, like, yeah. her mom is, like, her best friend. Yeah. I think it's going to work. And if it doesn't work forever, I think it's going to be, it's going to last a while. Mm -hmm. I felt so bad for, um, Mrs. Kelsey, the mom. Oh, the interview? Yeah. Ah, uh, I know. They, like, egged her on after she said that she wasn't going to respond to any I, of them. Yeah, I think when you, like, do interviews, you have to be, like, respectful. Also, usually the team goes over the questions before, so I don't know if they, they like, weren't prepared for that interview, but she, she, I could tell she was very annoyed. Well, I think she was prepared. Like, of course they're going to know that the questions are going to come. Yeah. But it's nice when... Someone declines your, like, if they reject your question, move on. Exactly. But they just kept going and going, and I'm like... Dude, you could tell she was so mad. I'm like, Homegirl doesn't do interviews. So it's yeah. like, way to, make her, <laughs> way to make her feel, like, even more awkward. Mm-hmm. Okay, another thing I want to talk about. Now that I'm fully fed. <laughs> I did it, you guys. I finished it. Oh. I'm not a part of this, so I don't... Why don't you care about my life? I love your life! Like, I... Just listen. But I get to hear it before they do, so I'm yeah. like, I get the priority benefits here. I finished Snowfall. I finished it. Carlos and I finished it in two weeks, which is pretty long for us. But it was... <laughs> Six seasons, everybody. Each episode is, is an, hour? an hour long. Let that sink in, because how many episodes are in a season? Ten. Mom, why you gotta manhandle the muscle like that? I don't like this, like, wiggly thing anymore. God, yeah, it freaks me Mom, out. Mom, you weren't supposed to eat it before. Oh, shit, I've been eating it my entire life. Oh, my God. <laughs> Anyways, let it sink in. Six seasons. One episode is an hour long. Why are you hating? I uh, never, never hate. <laughs> Never hate. Anyways, my husband and I finished it. It was amazing. I want to talk about it, but I feel like I shouldn't because a lot of you guys haven't watched it, and I know that you guys are watching it right now, so I can't really like talk about it too much. But I want to talk about. It. Was it amazing? Oh my god! Was it ending good. Wait, is it over? Over? Yeah, it's done. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Let me try to talk about it without talking about it because I know a lot of you guys are watching it right now. Per my recommendation. Per, per my recommendation. <laughs> my husband and I are gonna start Power next week. So we're going to watch that next because a lot of you guys said I have to watch Power because it has to do with drugs. And you guys know I love drugs. I don't personally do it myself or anything, but I just <laughs> really like drugs, like drug shows, you know? Um, I loved, okay, honestly, Kick and Crab, what is going on? Why are they all empty, Kick and Crab? 
why are they all that day? <laughs> I've been fed. <laughs> okay. I love Snowfall okay. for many reasons. Okay. I loved it because one of my favorite, re one of my like highest reasons is because I love shows similar to Brave. who is the main character in Snowfall. Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys, I don't want to say too much, but it was just, he developed all right. Mm -hmm. um, the ending was, you know, because Carlos and I watch a lot of drug movies and a lot of these type of movies, we knew that the ending was not going to be a happy ending. Like, right. it was just very obvious. Yeah. Um, I was sad for him, but, like, at the same time, like, he did it to himself, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. I realize you don't know what I'm talking about. Fuck. You got your phone? I'll text you. <laughs> <laughs> it was just really good. You know what? I'll give you guys another month to watch it, and then I'm going to start talking about it. I don't give a fuck if you haven't watched it, okay? Because I want to talk about it, but I can't. <laughs> yeah, it was really good. All right. Yeah. Moving on to Power. We're going to move on next to Power. Um, <clears throat> Is Power on Hulu? I haven't found it yet, so I don't even know where I can watch it yet. Oh. And then someone told me that Power, there's another show called Ghosts. That is like based off power or something. Mm. Um, there's a new show on um, Netflix that everyone's talking about. It's number one right now. What is it? I think it's called The Downfall of Usher House. Or, oh, my God. oh, yes. I think you're right. Yeah, I don't think you're the down promo that. photo is like a wine glass and a house in the back, right? I something think so. Like I don't think you're down for something like that. Why? Because it's from the writers of Haunting of Hill House. Yeah. And you're going to tell your husband that when he decides to pester me. When he oh, no. Back. I already told him. Yeah. Because he said, we'll wait for Michelle. No, and no. No I said, need. <laughs> no need. I said, Michelle won't do it, babe. And then he got really sad. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. No, he didn't. <laughs> no, he made fun of you. No. But of course he did. <laughs> I knew it. Um, but I think, I think Carlos said that we should watch um, that movie I've been wanting to watch. The Sound of Freedom. Let's do it. Yeah. So we have that. He's actually going to hang out with us today? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. Do you want him to hang out with us? Well, I don't know. You suggested the movie, and I thought the movie was a us thing. Oh, yeah. Maybe. I don't really care. Okay. He judges us too much. He's mean I to know. us, you guys. So mean. He thinks he's cool. Mm. Does he have a fear? He doesn't have a fear, huh? The Eagles losing? Damn, I can't. I can't put bad juju on like that. Ooh. Are you watching anything right now or no? No. I didn't watch. There was something I really wanted to watch. Oh! I was going to watch the Kelsey document documentary. Ah, you guys. I'm going to say this one time and one time only because I usually don't talk about things like this. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing. I don't know. Do you know I what I'm about to say? I know. That's why I'm like, what are you going to say? And I'm glad that this is like in the middle of a seafood <laughs> boil because the person that I'm going to talk about probably won't make it to the middle of the seafood boil unless it will make it in the seafood boil. They have no idea what I just said. No. Okay. Slow it down. Just a little bit. Okay. So, 
About like a month ago, Carlos and I were watching the Kelsey documentary. As you guys know, my husband is a ginormous Eagles fan. He lives, breathes, eats, sleeps with the Eagles. He should have been born in Philadelphia. Like he is a huge Philadelphia Eagles fan. And I would just, have believed him if he said that he was from Philly. Oh, 100%. <laughs> and it just so happens that I grew up in Pennsylvania. Um, I grew up two hours from Philly. I obviously know a lot about the Philadelphia Eagles. I grew up watching them with my brother. Um, and so when we met, it was so funny because I was like, is that an Eagles hat? And he was like, yeah, I love the Eagles. And I was like, I'm going to That night she posted a picture of him, full face, in the frame. And I got my first kiss him. that night too. And then got her first kiss. Ew, wow, that happened in a matter of six hours. Now that doesn't scream meant to be, I don't know what does, because wow, did it all work out. So, as you guys know, Carlos is a huge Philadelphia Eagles fan. And who plays on the Philadelphia team? Jason Kelsey, who Carlos absolutely loves. He thinks Jason is amazing. Jason eats his boogers, and so do we. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, I was like, babe, we have to watch the new Kelsey documentary. Obviously, like, I love Jason. Travis is just the hottest human being ever. It's Travis. I was like, we have to watch it. Obviously, you guys know the brothers went against each other in the last Super Bowl. It was a huge deal, so... And they have a podcast. Yes, and they have a podcast, New Heights, and so... Obviously, I was very interested in the documentary. Another side fact is I absolutely love sports documentaries. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I can't explain it to you, but it is, like, my favorite thing to watch. I think it's because you actually get to learn, like, new things. I think so, it's too. It, you know, because you don't know I, much about it. And then, then I'm also into, like, the whole, like, people's journey thing. Yes. You know, like, so yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Character development. Character development. So yeah. I love watching. And it's a way for my husband and I to bond. Like, I'll meet him halfway. <laughs> game or two but I'll really watch a documentary um so we were watching the Kelsey documentary I knew that Jason's wife was Kylie because I've seen I follow them on Instagram so that's how much I love 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 football for my husband so I knew about Kylie and so then when she came on the documentary I was like oh what a cool chick you know she's so pretty and then there's a story of how they met at a bar and they met I think they met on hinge and I was like oh my god Tinder. Whoa, oh, Tinder, sorry, not Hinge. Someone else was on Hinge. Um, Tinder. Me. And, <laughs> and so I was like, um, I was like, oh my god, like they like let's just be honest, we all know that Jason Kelsey makes like probably thirty million dollars a year or something. Mm -hmm. But I just love when I watched it because I was like, wow, like I just felt so I felt like I was a part of the family. They're just mm. so like cozy and they're so um, I don't know. I don't want to like put this the wrong way, but like normal. Yeah. Like, like very humble people, very kind people, very like realistic. Even though you know they're like yeah. they obviously they really have, radiate like, like hospitality. Yes. And, like, just being family oriented. Exactly. Exactly. And I I love that atmosphere. So I'm sitting there on the couch, Carlos and I are watching it, and I'm like, oh, I wonder if she has an Instagram. So I type in Kylie Kelsey, you guys. Oh my fucking god. I screamed my ass off because her Instagram said follow back. Do you guys know what that means? <laughs> and she, she follows me on Instagram. And I literally had a panic attack. I called. Carlos thought it was fake. He was like, are you sure it's not a fan account? And I was like, first of all, I'm dead. <laughs> He was like, baby, are you sure it's not a fan account? This is a scam account. And so I'm like, no. So I'm scrolling. I'm like, babe, there are legit family pictures. Like, <laughs> this is our account. <laughs> and so, um, and so I literally screamed. I called Michelle. We're all like, literally like, what is going on? It's like 11 p.m. at night. Oh, yeah. I'm hyperventilating, you guys. I'm literally having a panic attack because I'm like, Carlos, you don't understand. <laughs> You don't freaking understand. Like, we are literally on the Eagles team. Like, <laughs> no, but that's exactly what she said to me. She was like, I'm breathing their air. Yeah, like, you don't understand. No, no, no. This is the part, Mom, that, like, messed with me for days. 
I was like, you guys don't understand. Our mukbangs have been on their TV. Like, Jason has probably seen us suck on some crab legs. That's what I'm saying. And judged his wife for watching That's it. That's what I'm saying. So, anywho, I followed her back and I tried to, like, keep it real cool. She did. And then I think it was, like, maybe, like, uh, the next day or something, she posted something about the podcast, which I obviously watched and loved. So, I replied to one of her stories and you guys, oh, my God, fucking love her. She's amazing. It was like you guys both fangirled each other. Uh, literally, though. She was like, I've been watching you for so long. She was like, you got me through all of my pregnancies. And I'm like, oh, my God, you have three kids. That's like three years. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Kim, she starts doing the math. Oh, my God. And then all of that. And then she was like, I love when you, like, do sausage, rice, and cucumber. And I'm like, if you know sausage, rice, and cucumber, you're like yeah. an OG, OG. Yeah. You know? So she tried the sausage, rice, and cucumber, and the ramen, and she, like, died. Oh, the ramen. Anyways, I love her so much. Yeah, but I want to watch the documentary. It's really cute. Mm -hmm. it, it, um, it's probably one of my favorites. Very, very um... A TikTok came up, and then they were talking about something, and I think I was in the comments, and I don't know what they were talking about, but it was amazing, and I was like, oh, I guess I'm watching the documentary oh now. Oh, my God. I will watch it again with you. Yeah. And Jason is, like, so normal, and I love it. Like, he's just, like, carefree. He, like, does... I mean, the guy wears flip-flops. He's too, such like, a dad. I love it. He embodies dad so well. He does. I really wanted him to win. I'm hoping this year they can win. Oh, the kids are so cute. I know. Aren't they adorable? So, so cute. But, yeah. Okay, thank you for my five minutes. Did you know the older than five minutes? But oh, Sorry. <laughs> But you got great mom, great mom. We loved it. Thank you for telling us. I your really story. wanted to tell you guys in the mukbang right after it happened, but I was like trying to stay humble, you know. She was really trying to keep it together. Yeah. But she talked my ears off. No, I did not. I did not say anything. Yeah, but you tried to keep it together. <laughs> I knew. I just think it's really cool because I wasn't expecting that at all. Oh, it's so cool. Mm. People know you, mom. I think it's cool that we're probably on the TV. Yeah. Oh my god. Like Anyways, Kylie, if you're watching this, hi. Hi, you're you're amazing. <laughs> you're amazing. <laughs> and we love you so much. <laughs> oh wait, I'm actually wearing a shirt from um. So Jason has a um. He start. I guess. Is it a non? Yeah, I guess you can call it a nonprofit. But Jason has a um, a foundation that he creates, and you like buy hoodies and T-shirts and stuff. And he takes a hundred percent of that and basically um, donates it to the city of Philadelphia. Oh, how cool! I know it's so cool. I'll link it down below. Wait, that's a really cool shirt, though. Yeah, I think it's called the Underdogs. I like the color of it. Yeah, Carlos and I bought a few hoodies. Yeah. I'll link it down below. I was it's wondering where it came from. I was like, where did this? <laughs> come from yeah we bought a few things because i was reading into it and it said 100 percent of um profits get donated back to the city that's very cool but other than that i'm not watching anything i restarted Grey's anatomy you are you are a show repeater i am lizzie mcguire <laughs> You guys, I really like Grey's Anatomy, but it just got too tough towards the end. There's a point where you just have to stop. It's that point. Yep. Do you know what I'm talking about? Which point? Uh, the point a where point. he, like, writes on her. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, I didn't even make it to the other point. Did you guys hear that? I don't think the eels are doing well. Do you have your phone? Uh, no. Oh, that sounded really bad. God damn it. Ugh. The last time I checked, they were winning. It was like 14 0. Oh my god, please don't let that be like a. Ugh. Oh my god, mom. You guys, the Eagles are currently undefeated. They haven't lost Shh, a game don't yet. Don't talk about it. No, don't talk about don't it. Don't talk about it. No, don't talk don't about talk it. About you guys, like, if you are married to a sports person like Carlos, <laughs> however he is feeling that they affects you. <laughs> I am usually not home on game days. I am at Target. 
<laughs> She's not lying. I purposely go and change my air pressure tires. <laughs> I, I go and get my oil change, everything. I'm not home on game days. And then I, I check the score right before I enter the house to see what I am dealing with. Uh, football season's really intense in this house, you guys. I'm sure it is in your house as well. <sighs> I'm sad. Excuse me. It might just be like, um, you know? <laughs> Yeah? Yeah. I don't think it's anything crazy. I don't know. It sounded pretty bad. But you listen to it all the time. So Here, I don't know why don't what. you go get my phone and we can check? Because whatever happens outside of this room, we never know. I think after this, we should just go straight to Target. I don't think we should look at Carlos. I agree. I don't think we should talk agree. to Carlos. Is he coming? <laughs> Mom, check the score for me, Mom. No. I'm scared. No. See, the thing. Hurry, hurry, Mom, hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. You gotta check the score. Eagles. Weagles. Ah, oh, fuck. I would be mad too, bitch. Damn. Got seven minutes left, and that's a fucking pretty close score right there. A lot can happen. I've learned a lot can happen. A lot can happen in two minutes. Imagine seven. Game over. Don't say that. 12 right now with seven minutes. We're stressed. I love tennis. <laughs> they haven't. They haven't scored since. No. Oh, shh. since you got here, mom. It's okay. It's okay. Mom, he's never no. gonna let me back in this house. He's gonna think I did it. It's okay. It's because when I walked in, you said they're doing great. They're fourteen. Oh mom, you spoke too soon. No, you don't think so, right? You yeah. never. You never talk about. I was really looking forward to a nice, calm Sunday. No, now he's not hanging out with us tonight. 14, 12. That's really close. That's like almost like too he's close. Not hanging for out with comfort. He's I'm not scared. hanging out with us. We're not watching that movie. He's not gonna watch it with us. <laughs> okay, I say we just go to we go back to your house and I stay there. Yeah, for the absolutely. Oh my god, you guys should have lived in this fucking house when it was basketball season. So my husband is a Celtics fan. He did. <laughs> He like doesn't talk to me for like 24 hours if they lose, and the Celtics lose often. <laughs> hey, <laughs> they did really good that one year when they went against Golden State. Look, like, I don't know anything. Golden State won. I don't. I personally don't love basketball. I don't know why. I like, love basketball. I like football way more. You don't even know how to watch football. Yes, mom. I fucking do. I downloaded this thing so I can. No. I, I, Basketball more than you can oh, tell really? me about yeah. football. Oh, really? Yeah, okay, bitch. You're like fucking football. See. You're like, wait, wait, wait. No, wait, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, no shit. I don't know you this. just fucking go to the boy. Just check. Oh, I did not cry. <laughs> Damn, I digested all my food just doing that. Oh, my God. Right under your white chest. Should we not be happy? What? What happened? I dripped. Ah. <laughs> so good. <laughs> oh my god, all that wiggling. You feel digested? No, you try to eat all the clams.
juicy anymore. No one is safe when I'm hungry. I think that's it. There's one right there. Look, Mom. You know what sport I don't get, and I don't get why men can do it for hours? Soccer? Mm mm. <laughs> Golfing. Because it's relaxing. Really? Yeah. You're just hanging out with a bunch of your guy friends, drinking, skirt skirting. Mmm. And then you'll. Whoop, whoop, How many holes are there? Why does it take so long? 18 if you're going to like a full. Oh. oh. It only really takes long because they're all jibber jabbering. Mmm. I've never been golfing, so I didn't know. I've been mini golfing. I don't know how to golf. No, neither do I. Appa's golfed his whole life though. He golfs a lot. Ugh. He still golfs. I know, isn't he going, he went yesterday? Yeah. Oh, I think it's over. He's yeah, so I don't, um. Oh, hello, Willie. Don't name them before you eat them. <laughs> <laughs> you like named our lobsters. Yeah, but that was like before, before we eat them, you know? Um, I don't watch football. I mean, I'm sorry, not football, baseball. <laughs> Baseball's fun. Um, yeah, I don't watch baseball. Do you guys have hockey? We had hockey on the East Coast. We yeah, we have hockey. hockey. Yeah. We have like the Ducks, uh, right? Are they no, still like Anaheim? high school? No. Oh, no. No. Like ice hockey? Yeah. Like as a sport? Yeah. No. Mm, but you guys had polo. Water polo. That's cool. We had surf. Oh, we had a surf team? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, we had a surf Damn, team. Damn, bougie. Mm -hmm. We had, um, we had every sport, except, like, plus hockey, that's it. Obviously, cool. we didn't have water polo and surfing. Oh, you didn't have water polo? Mm -mm. No, I think that's a very, uh, maybe California thing. Oh. I bet if you have, like, an indoor pool. Because your guys' pool's indoor, no? Wait, York Suburban, do we have? <laughs> no, 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 no. We had a swimming team. Huh. No, I think... I remember when I first moved here, and remember Kaylin told me, because she was on the water polo team? Uh-huh. I was like, oh, I didn't even know that was a thing. So I think it's a California thing. It's a hard sport. Right. I think she was on it or something. Volleyball in the water? Not it. We had a volleyball team. We had a volleyball team. Soccer team, baseball team. Field hockey? Field hockey. Okay, you guys had field hockey. Yeah. I guess the only thing is you had ho ice hockey and we had surf. Nice. Really tells you the difference of the coast. Nice. That's cool. You guys haven't... Wait. I'm so full, Mom. I can't even move to my room. Wait, where do you guys play your ice hockey? Like at the rink? Mm hmm You guys have multiple rinks? We didn't have a school rink. Like, our school was not oh, like... Oh, okay. Yeah, no, it was uh like the county rink. Right, right, right. Yeah. So that means all the kids go there. Pretty much, yeah. Oh. No, we didn't have an ice skating rink. We don't have any rinks anymore. I thought you did. There's one on... That well, right? it's winter over there. It's like, you know, a winter thing to do is you go ice skating. And then they also had like um, a snowboarding club. Oh. Brooke was in the snowboarding club. Of course she was. <laughs> what well, so, wasn't she in? I know, literally. She was, so like after school, they, um, I think you obviously had to pay for it, but after school on certain days, like Tuesdays, Thursdays, you would get on the uh, snowboarding bus, like just a school bus, and it would take you up to Ski Round Top, and you would snowboard, and then they would take you back to the school. How fun. Yeah, so we had that. That sounds like fun. Yeah, Brooke did that every year. She also did basketball. <clears throat> she did basketball and she did volleyball. And I believe she played soccer. Did she do track or anything? No. But she did basketball, though. And volleyball. I remember all the girls who didn't want to do PE, but did... So they did a sports anyways, always did track and field. I was never athletic. I tried out for the volleyball team and didn't make it. I, I mean, I think it's great that you still did it. Well, you see, I, I told you this, but I'm going to tell you again because it just, it breaks my heart that my best friend Brooke would do this to me. <laughs> we had a bet. Yes. 
that I would try out for the volleyball team yes. and she would try out for the musical. Yes. So I tried out for the volleyball team. Yes. I did not make it. I mean, are you kind of grateful you didn't make it? I am. I became volleyball manager. <laughs> <laughs> I managed the volleyball team and the wrestling team. Okay. Yeah. It was fun. I bet. It was did like she tried out for the musical? Yes, I got lead twice. No, did she? No. Yes, that was a scam. That was a scam, you guys. She, she did not it. try out for the musical like she promised. <laughs> Still can't forgive her for it. It's okay. She got me a Stanley. I guess I forgive her a little bit. <laughs> I'm dead. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, I like managing. I don't know if you guys still, I don't know if people still do that, but the teams have managers. I don't think kids were allowed to do that at my school. Oh. <clears throat> so I managed the boys, the girls volleyball team, and then the boys wrestling team. So you basically manage everyone and you make sure everything is like in order. Yeah, you know, I might have been out of it at my school, but I don't think we had those kinds of things. Really? Yeah. I don't know. It ca it taught me great management skills. I loved it. And then you got like everything they got, like the crew nuts. <laughs> How fun! Yeah, the mindset like manager. <laughs> it's the little things. I honestly, I wear that so proud. Yeah, I loved it. I'd walk around school, and be like manager. I loved it. If you though. need to know anything about I them, was let manager. me know. Yeah. <laughs> I think I did that middle school and high school. I don't remember. Middle school? Yes, I managed the girls in middle school, but then when it was, I think, 8th grade. Yeah, 8th grade, I managed the boys' wrestling team. And then I managed it into high school, and then I stopped. I don't know if we even had sports in middle school. We went? No way. Brass basketball team? No, it's normal. They might have, like, it wasn't a part of the school. It might have been like a club. Is that true? Yeah, so we had like the York Suburban Middle School basketball girls team and the boys team and the York Suburban Middle School wrestling team. We had like, And you guys had games? Yeah. No, we didn't have You played games. against like Central York Middle School basketball. Oh, yeah, no. Really? Yeah, no. Wow, I just thought everyone had no. the same thing that I grew up having. I'm sure other middle schools do. <clears throat> we did it. Yeah, we had a basketball team in middle school, a volleyball team, wrestling team. What was your... Um, a tennis team? Ma oh, we had a tennis team in high school. Oh, yeah, we had sports in middle school, too. Mm -mm. What were you going to ask? What was what? Mm. Your mascot in middle school. It's a school district, Mom, so we're all the Trojans. Okay. Oh, you're different. No, no. Well, we are in a sense where none of that matters. Oh, okay. District wise. But we, I don't know why, but Dwyer was junior Oilers and then we were Oilers in high school. Oh, okay. So when you go to York Suburban School District, you are the Trojans. Oh, I like that. That's more. Honest. Yeah. So everyone. Yeah. So like all the merch is the same. Oh, that's, see, that's nice. Yeah. Nice. Wait, but now what, are, what was, oh, and then Central York school district they were the panthers panthers yeah so like everything was the same okay that's so cool yeah there was no like baby oiler big oiler okay no that's that's just us <laughs> i don't know why we did it like i don't know what sours middle school was but they were something else oh yeah no yeah we were all trojans mm. so like a lot of like my friends that i went to school with they've been going to school together since preschool oh my As you can tell, we're just sitting here talking because because we were too scared to leave this room. Oh, he's pissed, Mom. He's pissed. What happened? I don't know. It's quarter four, two minutes left. It just happened. It's that still, means it just happened. It's still 14, 12. And They're going to update it. They're going to update it. No. Okay, but here's the thing. As a, as a football fan, sometimes they get mad. Like... Even if, like, they just get mad over, like, everything. Yeah, just, like, little things. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, it's, yeah. I don't know. You tell me. Is that bad or okay? Or is that him always? It's him always. Oh, okay. Then I'm not. Yeah, sorry. like, if Hertz just looks at the camera wrong, he's pissed. No, he <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Shut up. There's, it's quarter four. There's two minutes left. I'm so scared. It could have been just easily, like, something about the ball. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
You know, like maybe okay, they didn't well, make it to the know. line that they were making it. I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't, I don't know. know anything about the ball. I, see, this is what I know. I don't know who has the ball right now, but there's only two minutes left. So if the Eagles have the ball, it's okay. But it's like if like the Jets get the ball, then it go like we don't got time for that. Right, right, you right. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, so right. there's only two minutes left. Okay, we're fine, you guys. We're fine. He said you're such an idiot. So that means someone did. Some somebody fumbled the ball. Someone did something. Yeah. Or I'm like really nervous to leave this room. I ain't looking in this direction. <laughs> Don't ask me to Don't go even. in front of that Sometimes one. I wear sunglasses, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> you? I'm doing the sun. Look. Bye, baby. This, this is what we're, we leave all this. We book and it. And then we just fucking yes. go out the garage. Yes. Sh shit, I don't even wear pants. <laughs> Fuck it, mom. Fuck, Fuck it. it. Let's just keep checking. Fuck. It's bad. Oh my god, what happened? Hold me. What happened? They got a touchdown. It's 14, 18, two minutes left. Let's just hold each other. Should we start praying? What we need is to start planning our escape. So I think there's two minutes left. Okay. I'll warm up the car. You go grab pants. What about the food? Um, well, we gotta put the. You think we can do it in two minutes? If I like Casper and he'll eat it all. What? <laughs> like oh my god, mom. Like oh my god. <gasps> it's fourteen twenty. I thought you said it was eighteen. No, well they get the kick. After you do the <gasps> touchdown, you get the kick. And we have two minutes. Yeah, it's just not. I didn't say fucking shit, man. You said they were doing good. Well, if you're good in general, you don't need, you know, weird witchcraft. Hey, have you ever looked at the bumps on the ground? What is wrong with you? Sorry. What the fuck is wrong with you? Sorry. <laughs> oh man, it's waiting at the door. It's done. He's not gonna watch the rest of the game. He's gonna come back so hungry and so pissed. He's hungry too. Yeah. Oh my god, he's hungry. And his uh, team is losing. Mom, hunger and losing. No. How do we, what do we? We start praying. For what? That we don't bump into him. We, <laughs> that we don't bump into him. We, I need to start wearing sunglasses. You literally, I'm fucking dead. I'm, you literally live in the same house as him, Mom. Yeah, I'm legally married. <laughs> no, man, we care. Okay, you guys, we're going to clean... You got a plan? <laughs> no, no. No? Because we're fucked regardless. What were you going to say? What we're going to start cleaning up and we're going to book it to Target and never return. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll see you guys in the next one. If you don't see a mukbang from us, if they happen. Peace. <laughs>